Thank you for staying with us. And this is Plus Politics. Now, President Mohamed Bari has been said to be in charge of critical affairs of the government. This was stated by the Bari media organization, the BMO. The group went further to accuse the People's Democratic Party of latching on a resolved issue in the presidency to achieve selfish ambitions. They stated that the president has never abdicated his duty on security matters to anyone that is working hard to keep Nigeria and Nigerians out of harm. And still with us to discuss this this evening on Plus Politics is Bola Ba, political analyst, and also Dayo Kaode, political technocrat. Now, this, um, this response is coming in response to um, a leaked memo from the NSA, which was like Monday, Tuesday, um, saying there was undue interference by President Mahmoud's chief of staff, Abba Kiari, on matters of national security. How do you react to this? Kaode, let's start with you. <clears throat> if you look at two things, the body language of the president towards Abakia. Even three, three things. The complaint of the first lady, this same Abakia. Even the president's pronouncement that every other minister, vice president not excluding you, should come to him through this same Abakiari. Abakiari. So who is Abakiari in this government? Are you with me? Yes. The question is, who is Abakiari in this government? Well, he's a CSO to the I'm president. I'm coming. Yes. In our constitution, do we have a position of CSO? That is number one. Number two. COS. Sorry, chief, uh, chief of staff. staff. Chief of staff. Do we have that position in our constitution? One. Two, is appointment. Does it go through the Senate? Now, let's come to... Uh, the NSA. NSA. Yeah. Who appoints the NSA? The president, right? But through the Senate, with the approval of the Senate. Okay. As the NSA, it cannot go to that his office without taking out of office. So that means whatever action it takes is being banded by, by out of office, unlike a backyard. So the question that we even need, that the Nigerians need to ask, what is so special? What is that special string? The official special string between the president and somebody, because I, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I see that position as a layabout position. I see it as a layabout position that is not recognized by our constitution, that is not recognized, it's not supposed to be recognized by anybody. But then look at what the whole, a whole head of our security is talking about. Right. So who has, who has that professional, who is supposed to have that professional touch on our security apparatus? No wonder we are having this kind of a problem. We are having uh, 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 security-wise. Because somebody who, in court is a layabout of government is now in control of everything. As regards, as regards the letter being written or the memo, the memo. being written by by Mogunu. Mogunu. All right. But, but let me come to you now. In, in, in that in that memo, Mogunu did say um, Abba Kiari does give out directives and even presides over meetings with security chiefs without knowledge of the president. Do, do you is there, is there a conflict of interest and in office here in this situation? And with the response of the BMO, what, what do you make out of this situation? You are compounding a number of issues into one question. Yes. And let me be very methodical in the way I go about it. Please be. It is intellectually wrong to call the chief of staff of an executive officer in a presidential system of government a layabout. In fact, he is or she is in case 
a woman emanates, or in, in case a woman emerges in that office any day, whoever functions in that office is the alter ego of the president. Even in America. In fact, a chief of staff got so conceited in the case of when Ronald Reagan was shot, his chief of staff got so conceited that he was acting the role of the vice president. It is tempting. We borrowed the American system, for yes. God's sake. You know, and many of those people who are complaining now, you know, you saw how, uh, you saw how eminent lawyer, brilliant mind, but you know what? If, they, if many of them could be, could be a bit more sober and look back into some of the things they subscribed to when they were young, you know, he was hugging Atiku, trying to make us believe that Atiku was going to be, be the savior. Am I making a point? We are now in a we're practicing presidential system of government. Those who borrowed it, justified it based on the fact that they wanted the person who would emerge to be the leader of Nigeria to have the majority votes cast of Nigerians and have the spread. And in that presidential system of government, there is a role for an unelected, an unelected kitchen cabinet operative to be strategically placed far more than many who are elected and indeed many who hold strategic offices of state. And President Muhammadu Buhari even told you people when he was swearing in the ministers and the vice president was seated in the same hall that every officer of government would have to go through the chief of staff to him. Oh. Without, without, if you people were to swap places with that man. But not to the detriment now, of, now, now of I'm, I'm NSA. Say, yeah, I'm Somebody who is in yeah. charge of now, the security of, nobody well, says, security now, apparatus nobody, of the country. Nobody, nobody said it has to be to, uh, ah, to the but detriment. Look at what he's, look but, at what he's but, doing to that man. But the but the, but the, the, the the president mentioned that the instruction he gave on that occasion in public whilst all strategic members of the government... But he was not supposed was, to have made such a statement. Oh, you are, are now going, well, I said you are now going to the source point, of the problem. Is, even at that point, I was yeah. among those that said he was not supposed to make such a, such a pronouncement. Yes. Rather, you can ask, do you understand? Or we is not going to be too open to the people. Now, and that is the yes, result we are seeing yeah, now but in but our security yes. let, let me bring it. Let me bring this back to you. I mean... Constitutionally, one took an oath oh. of office to protect oh. when it comes to security matter, which is the NSA. And many people have argued the fact that Hayaki Kali, because the COS is in charge of all and the president's political appointment, that he might be a little bit higher, which is still the, yet the, to the, be proven. The, the, now, but uh, I'm saying the my NSA, argument is the NSA is, yes. it, is the NSA a particular appointee. Oh, a military appointment. But he took an oath. He took an oath oh, to Augusto, defend. Took the, an now, oath. this is the, this is my sure. point. This is my question, He took an oath. Is it is it constitutional for a security chief to be meeting with the COS, presiding over a meeting without the NSA? Without the NSA. When the elected officer of state, the chief elected officer of state, says all transactions with him, irrespective of your position in government. Rights must come through the COS. You finished it. Then and that so is he has abdicated so his positions to him. Then that so is, is, is that, that then right. go, why, 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 right. why, why then are you fighting Lakpa Lakpa at the expense of cancer. Why are you fighting eczema <laughs> at the aspect of, of it's cancer? Not, it's not about that, but so we, we, it, we now, need seems, so we are not getting now, educated now, it seems to me on this about, issue. I'm there's not, there's, there's an not, internal so, crisis you, and if, disharmony within, within exactly. that couple. Now, don't you think this in, largely in, is a reason me, for... Let, let me use a footballing metaphor. Yes. You only get to know that there are, there are controversies, conflicts, and arguments in the locker room when the team is when the team is losing. When the team is winning, yes. am I making a point? When the team is winning, you don't get to hear, look, 
things are not going well for this government, it is just inevitable that at some point, some characters would want to find the opportunity to at least put, protect and preserve what they believe is their future. Because the president may no longer be eligible to contest, these characters walking around him still will believe that they have a political future. And look, people tend to jump off a sinking... So I'm not... So to that, okay, extent, yes. to that mm -hmm. extent that one, the, the chief of staff position was not in the constitution, to the extent that he never swore to any oath oh. through our constitution, then my earlier assertion can never be seen as being uh, intellectually incorrect. Where did you borrow the constitution from? The constitution that... It doesn't has... really borrow. We are where saying every you... insula. Where... They still call the constitution where... of the Federal where... Republic of Nigeria. Oh, no. Where did you borrow the constitution did they, from? Did they swear to an oath? No. That's the question. The, the that's swear... what we are reading. No. The, the, swear... the swear to an oath... The, the chief of staff the, the never swear... swore to an oath no. and the Senate never confirmed his appointment, unlike the NSA. So the NSA, well, the NSA, the memo NSA has written is valid. And what, what, what the, the, the so-called chief of staff is doing is, is I mean, it's, it's negating our democracy. Now, For him now, to have yes. taken uh, up uh, upon uh, that, those let, roles. Let him finish. Let him finish. For him to have taken let up those finish. roles without a line, without a line, uh, uh, NSC, the, the security uh, uh, advisor, to chair meeting with security chiefs. Have you finished, sir? Yes, have, have, you, have you made your point again? To, to, because you are repeating the same point. No, uh, to, to but, an extent. But the, the point, I'm just trying to debunk what you say that what my assertion that, that, that was intellectually. Him being a layabout. You, yeah, he is. You, you use the word layabout? And, and I cut it. I said uh, perhaps I should use that word okay, in court. Okay, let me, it, it was let, me further, let me further push this to you. Yes. yes. You are speaking here as, an, as a citizen of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Exactly. Justifiably so. Yeah. When the president made a pronouncement after the Senate had supposedly, yeah. and I'm choosing my words carefully, yeah. after the Senate had supposedly grilled people and recommended them for presidential appointment, mm. I mean ministers, sure. and on the day the president wanted to swear them in, them. The, the day the president wanted to swear mm. them in, mm. the president said emphatically mm. that all of them would have to go through the chief of staff. Does that make the president uh, uh, right? Let, let, me, let, let me finish, please, sir. Even when those of us who believed that that was a travesty of the sure. what, what did the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria say to that? Okay, even as we, as we are now, okay, listen to this too. I will also put it to you. Just as we were saying, the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the old National Assembly, was wrong to say they are not going to, to patronize uh, uh, innocent, and we all we are shouting. Don't let's what go have they done? Okay. No, what have they done? The this, 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 have they not gone to buy their their this in our They are still going to buy their this in our So it's the same thing we are saying here. We all say oh, that. So that they, that also they also have they also have the. No, we are saying that what the president has said is wrong. That they suppose they supposed to remove that. So why? But still they did not. Why are we now at this juncture? Yes. Why are we not now? speaking to one, the ignorance of the presidency. And that's what we are showing and, them. And why are we not directly lambasting the president? Why are we targeting Abba Kiari? Now, when is he? No, 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 no. When, no, when is he? Yes. I, I don't know about Abba Kiari. Listen, that's why no. I said BMO was right to have said the president had abdicated. No, the BMO, it's, it's, is, no, the BMO came out to say, no, the president had not abdicated what I'm his duties. Is, yes. They are wrong. Yeah. The, the, the president had already abdicated his duties from the onset by asking all, all his ministers that he is supposed to B entrust. B BMO is the Buhari Media Organization. Oh, so oh, they are, what, what would you expect them to say? Exactly. They are pro, they are saying, pro the president. Wrong yes. That the president has really, really abdicated his position. I mean, how can in your presence? How officially, can in your presence? now, officially, he, before he's the even, he has even yes, been having meetings with the uh, with uh, the chief of uh, ambassadors. Right, even now, meeting with ambassadors. Um, we need to bring this. We need to bring this to a close now. Is that, is that yes. his role? Um, 
There, there seemed to be, with, with the leak, because this, this memo was leaked, I mean, it was a leaked memo, um, as it was alleged. Which is now, good there, there's, there seems to be crisis and disharmony within these two offices. Now, don't you think this is, this is part of the problem we're having with our security architecture as it is? And how unhealthy and dangerous is this stance right now for us as a country? Well, let me take your, let me take your take, please. You can push it in any direction you want to push it. <laughs> I've told you that you get to hear about controversies in the locker room when teams are doing badly, are performing badly. And you seldom hear about negative, uh, about negative uh, reports, reports yes. from, the locker, from the locker room when teams are winning. Look, it is obvious to anybody who cares to be non-partisan that the government does not seem to have the correct <laughs> And of the political management of the country. Indeed, some may we even want to say the economic management of the country. And I am not in any way, shape, or form shocked that this kind of controversies are coming out. And many more will still come. Do you think the COS, as, as, as it stands right now, I mean, wields on due power? Do you think so? Oh, the presidential system of government that you guys borrowed from America, even at the state, the chief of staff of any principal executive office holder is far more important. Look, go to any state of Nigeria. How healthy is this for us, but, uh, but, for the country? But, but, How healthy is you this will for never the country, given the security to the extent, situation? To, be, to the extent to which a visionary controls the office of the principal executive, the, the, the principal executive office. You can then leverage the intellectual wherewithal of somebody who is intellectually connected with you, with your vision, yes. to help you drive to that extent. But we have discovered across all, all the the three main executive strata of this polity, local government, state, state government and federal, federal, that those who act in the positions of the chief of staff to the principal executive officer, they walk away with murder. All but right. even the Gentlemen, thing is this. Sorry, this one, 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 in, one just, in just 30 seconds. Yes, in yes, 30 please. seconds. Yes, please. Even in these advanced democracies that we are talking about, we have all studied them. We have all been there. We have all seen how it operates. They have never come out one day to say, see, all of you ministers, or all of you this, you have to be coming to me through this person. What happens is all those actions take place tacitly without even the notice of the, the majority, other Dial than those that want to study political the politics. Thank you very much for thank being part of much. Plus Politics and thank for your you contribution. Well, about thank you very much for being part of the show this evening and for your contribution. Thank you for staying with us. We'll take our Plus report now, and when we return, I'll be giving you my take. Do stay with us. The Nigerian Senate has commenced deliberation for the establishment of a commission to curb the proliferation of small arms and light weapons across the country. Leading the debate during the second reading of the bill, Senator Smart Adeyemi, who also sponsored the bill, said the proposed commission will coordinate, implement and check the proliferation of small arms and light weapons in the country. The objectives of the bill include to identify sources and main routes of these small arms, ammunition, and light weapons. To identify why this illicit trade strives in Nigeria. To liaise with the relevant authorities, agents,